Hi, I'm Jim Duff with Scene Daily. This is my colleague Lee Montgomery. Lee, today let's talk about the truck series. What's going on? We've got the highest television ratings for the series. They keep getting better and better ratings and more and more people are tuning in and yet we've got sponsors disappearing. We've got Todd Bodine, a past champion who's second in points right now, just 25 points behind um, Kyle Busch, and yet he may not even make it to the next race because he's lacking sponsorship. Well, I think you pretty much said it all there. You covered all the topics that we're going to talk about. Now. <laughs> the the truck series for a lot of people, a lot of people had the opinion that it was in trouble uh, going into this year, and then that, that NASCAR may have to do something drastic. And yet you're talking about the television ratings have, have gone up. That doesn't seem to make any sense. But let's think about that. Why are the ratings going up? Why do you think? Personally, I think it's probably a lot has to do with there's some very good racing going on there. NASCAR fans really want to see that side-by-side, -side, beating and banging type of stuff. And the Truck Series has promoted itself as that kind of enterprise, and that's what's been happening lately. Yeah. So what are, what, do you think, what are some other reasons why the TV ratings are so good? It can't be just that. It has to be some other stuff going on. Well, I think, you know, the Truck Series is, is compact in that, you know, we're, we're only talking 36 top starters. Uh, the races are also compact. I mean, you know, a race of a 200 miler, you know, goes by. It's something that I think fans can get their hands around and you're not having to devote an entire Sunday to, uh, to four or five hours of cup racing. You know, an hour and a half, two hours, you're in, you're out. You, as you say, you see some darn good racing in the truck series. Kyle Busch puts on a show anytime he's in a vehicle, that's for sure. <laughs> And it seems like there's a, cer a certain amount of stars in the series that maybe the this is the way the Bush series used to be, where there was a certain guys that you knew you were going to be there. Nationwide uh, series. What's, what's now called the Nationwide series? Excuse okay. me. The Ron Hornaday, the Jack Spray, the Mike Skinner, the Johnny Benson. They're in the race every week. The fans of those guys tune in to see them. And when you turn on a truck race, you know who's going to be in it. And they're not just in the field. They're up there contending up for the win. You and, and you're not seeing that in the Nationwide Series necessarily, especially the past few years where we've seen drivers in and out of cars uh, a lot. So I think that has something to do with it, too. There's sort of a sense of, of, of timing, of rhythm within the, the series as it goes along. You know what you're getting when you, when you watch it, and you don't necessarily know that with the other two series. And Is it time for NASCAR to, to take a look at that and maybe – transfer some of that over into the other series. Is it time for cup races to be shorter? Well, I think you could certainly make a great argument for that. But getting back to the truck series, I'm wondering, what is it that sponsors aren't seeing? Yeah. Because, you know, as much as it's easy to say this is a NASCAR problem, I think it's more of a business problem in that we've got good racing, we're getting good television ratings, which means people are watching, and yet we're not able to lure sponsors. Now, granted, these are extremely difficult times to be asking any corporation or business for, for a lot of money. But the truck series is relatively, I mean, we've got people who supposedly are running the truck series on 2 to $3 million. Yeah, and you'd think a sponsor would see that and see the ratings. Maybe there's just not the value in it that, that there used to be. Maybe there's not the value that's, that's in it with a Johnny Benson or a Ron Hornaday that we're talking about. Maybe a sponsor looks at it a little different. Uh, obviously, they want to have television ratings, but maybe the cost doesn't translate over to the TV rating somehow or another. I, I don't understand that. It, it would seem like even some mid-level companies could jump in and instead of spending $20 million on Carl Edwards, could spend $3 million on Mike Skinner or something and get, maybe get just as much out of it. Uh, there's certainly... It's a niche series, and I think NASCAR has carved it out that way, and it's it's a good thing, I think. But long-term viability, financially, is it? I don't know yet. We'll see. Well, that's certainly a topic that we'll certainly want to watch in the, in the months and years to come because I think it's darned exciting racing, and I'd like to see more of it. And we hope you'll stay tuned for the next installment on Scene Daily.